Well, hello, YouTube. Welcome back. It's time for the final episode of the Best Tech Ultra Uber Mega Ultimate Unboxing Series episode. Episode 10? 9? 10? I don't know. Future me, this is the episode number. Wow, amazing. We're doing a twofer. These are the last two knives from the giant box of Best Techs that, uh, that uh, Best Tech Knives sent. My beautiful wife, Kara, uh, and I stole them from her. Two budget boys. We're gonna end up on a bud on a on an affordable note here. So we're let's uh we got a Cubus and we got an eye of raw. Let's check them out. Let's take a look. Yes, sadly this is the end. It's the end, the end of an era, the end of, uh, the end of a, a legendary series here at Tri-State HQ where I've been tearing through all these best techs, man. You know, what am I going to do with myself once these are all gone? I've kind of been holding off on this, hoping it wouldn't come to an end, but here we are. So let's start with the Cubis. Uh, this is the best tech Cubis. I've actually had this on the channel before. It was donated by Beard of Doom. Beard, Brother Beard, check his channel out, check him out on Instagram, and I gave it away. And I never got to do any content on it, but I was really impressed with it for the short amount of time that I had it. I, uh, I was, I, I was genuinely impressed. If I could get my camera to work. Genuinely impressed by this thing, man. Uh, it is a budget, a budget best tech. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Nice texture G10 in bright, vibrant orange so you don't lose it in the wilderness, you know, as one tends to do. Uh, it's a it's a basic budget best tech stainless steel liners exposed. We got a G10 backspacer, also textured G10 scales. Uh, one two body screws, both T6, a T8 pivot screw here. Nothing crazy. The little the 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 little basic budget best tech insignia there. Uh, it is a flipper and a flipper only visually, but you know I played around with it. Nice stamp deep carry clip. I played around with it and I I liked it. I liked it. So super lightweight, not a huge knife. Uh, here is a pair of three for size comparison. Maybe, maybe. It sits kind of tall in the pocket. We got a ton of this wild cleaver blade sticking out. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. We'll open it here in a second. But uh, yeah, about pair of three size. Pretty much dead on that size. So let's flip this thing open because I, I I love the blade here. Look at that. Look at that thing. Look at that thing, dude. Real tall, super thin, flat ground cleaver blade here. Kind of like a, I don't know what to call it. It's a, let's call it a cleaver. We're going to call it a cleaver. Really nice looking knife. Belt satin. This is a D2 blade, but I like D2, especially when it's done right. Nice jimping here on the blade spine. Nice and soft. Not super grippy. Uh, and no other real grippiness other than the tex texturing on the handles here. But uh, in hand, yeah, all oh, feels great. Feels great. Right here, choke back, locked in. Love it. Love it to death, right? Nestle in right behind the uh, flipper tab there. Nice jimping on the flipper tab as well. Feels good. Huge finger toil and sharpening toil there. So you can choke way up on this thing. It's about a three, three and a quarter inch blade. Feels great. Feels wonderful. No complaints at all. And I love this blade shape. You can also pinch grip, of course, all day. All day. Get right out here, right at the edge here. Do your little, do your arts and crafts work. You know what I mean? It's a great looking knife. Now it is a flipper and a liner lock. Flipper only visually. Running on bearings, really great action. Detent, excellent. Excellent on that flipper tab. I'm, let me try to fail it. Can't do it. Can't fail it. It's really well dialed, really snappy detent. Good stuff, makes a good noise. Yes, yes indeed. Hmm. Delicious, but you can flick it. You can reverse flick this thing all day, dude. There's so much blade sticking up out of those handles that you just use the fat of your finger, push up against the backside of the blade. Boom. You're done. Thumb flick, kind of harder, but you can do it. But reverse flicks are a breeze, honestly. I would love to see somebody mod one of these, slap like a spidey hole in this or a set of thumb studs. That would be sick. That would be tasty. But it's an excellent little knife, man. Uh, really pumped to have this one back in so I can actually do some content on it. Detent's really well dialed. A little bit of internal milling, keep the weight down on those liners. But overall, just a wild looking budget best tech, man. And I dig it. Cutting performance, I'm sure is amazing. Let's cut something with it real quick. 
Best Tex budget knives, all their knives, top to bottom, man. They just, they cut so well straight out of the box. And this one with this nice tall flat grind, dude. I'm sure she'll do some cur slicing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yes. All day. All day long, man. All day long. You know, you can just, you just slice away. You just slice your worries away. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Excellent. Excellent. The Cubist, man. One of my favorite budget best techs, uh, period, recently, honestly. I know it's a flipper only, but because you can reverse flick it, it, it's endeared itself to me. And I dig it. So, yes, the Cubist. Link in the description. Check it out for yourself. Now then, let's check out the Eye of Raw. Now, I think this was a 2021 release. Maybe it... I think it was a 2021 release. But I've never had one on the channel. This is an interesting one. A divisive one, if I remember correctly. Let's see, let's see what we got. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. The colors, too. Good God. Nothing left in the box there. Woo. I okay. I dig the colorway. Very Bumblebee. Very Transformers. I'm, I'm into it. Bright-ass yellow G10 scales. Again, uh, we have stainless steel liners exposed. They're kind of nicely shadow boxed, ever so subtly. You know what I mean? Very subtle shadow boxing. And then we have the elephant in the room. This insanity in the middle of the handle. I don't know what's going on here. The Eye of Raw. I would assume, considering that's the name of the knife. But you can just see right through the damn thing. You talk about keeping the weight down. Again, stamped stainless steel pocket clip, deep carry, super deep carry, G10 backspacer. And the all of the steel, the steel liners and the blade have this kind of like gunmetal gray coating on it. Which I, I'm kind of a, a big fan of that. I don't know why we don't see that coating more. I don't even know what this coating is. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, we have one T6 body screw, and oh, and then the T8 pivot screw. D2 blade once again. Flipper only once again. Let's give her flick. Ooh, again, that detent, man. For a sub-$60 knife, that is dialed in. You can literally just see right, right through it. You just look right... Hello there. Just see right through this damn thing. Real clean uh, uh, drop point style blade here. Got a very subtle swedge at the top. Real tall flat grind. What is this coating, dude? What is this? I kind of dig it. It's like a glossy DLC PVD spray paint. I don't know what this is. Somebody tell me what this is. If I find out what the future me, but find out what this is. Wow, it's chemistry. Wow, really clean look at profile. Other than the wild cutaway, you know, but it's cool. It's something new. Nice lanyard hole here in the back, too. So, in hand, nice jimping on the blade spine. Soft again, but still. Honestly, feels great. Feels fine. Like, no complaints here. Really locked in. Nestle up behind that flipper tab. All day. You, eh, a little bit of a, of a finger choil. You can trigger pull it. Nice sharpening choil, though. But you can trigger pull it. So, choked up right behind the edge. Feels nice. No complaints. Feels good. Um, it's kind of heavy, honestly, considering how much material they've machined out of this thing. It still feels like a weighty knife. It's not huge. Here's the Cubis in comparison. And here's the uh, here's the uh, Pair 3, just so you guys get an idea here. It's a little bit longer than both the Cubis and the Pair 3. So, eh, about maybe, what, quarter of an inch longer? Nothing crazy. Nothing too crazy. Running on bearings again. D2 blade, once again, coated. Nice thin blade stock. It's a nice knife, you know? I've never got... Ooh, access to that liner? Really nice. Really easy to get a hold of that. Action's great. Detent's so good. Nice and snappy. Great jimping here on the flipper tab as well. Makes a good noise. Interesting noises always get me going. So smooth. God, dude. Best Tech's budget lineup. The action's so good. And it's solid as a rock. No blade play. No lock rock. No issues at all. This one, you can't reverse flick. There's no other mode of actuation other than the flipper tab. So I got to deduct points for that. As far as for my personal needs, I like to fidget. You know what I mean? But as a flipper and a flipper only, really well tuned in. Really well dialed. Let's check the noise. Hmm. Yes. Delicious. The Eye of Raw. I dig it. I really like the profile of this knife, you know? Could I live without all of this craziness? Sure. But generally speaking, it's just a nice, clean flipper. Daily carry. Uh, 
Pocket clip lands in a weird spot. I'm curious to see if that works. Oh my goodness. Very, no. Nope, that pocket clip's going to be a problem for a lot of people. You're going to rip up your jeans on that. For comparison, here's the Cubis, and uh, she just pops right in. No issues. It's not a fist fight. But, D2, tall flat grind, nice, thin, uh, beautiful factory edge, clean as a whistle, so I'm betting you this one will cut something too, so let me get the, let me get more magazine paper out. Let's take a look and see here, see if this will cut as good as that Cubis did. Oh, better! Even better than the Cubis, interesting. Oh, God. Best tech, you know, they do, they do the Lord's work. They've never let me down on a factory edge. I've never gotten a best tech and been like, wow. Could have done better with this one, best tech. They've always just hit a home run with their factory edges. They do a great, great job. Top to bottom of the line. Beautiful. The Eye of Raw and the Cubis. The, the very end of the best tech Ultra Uber Mega unboxing. $2,000 unboxing. The end of it. The end of an era. Two excellent budget EDC knives. I'm kind of, I'm impressed by both, honestly. I really like the Cubist, but I'm, I didn't really have any interest in this. But I'm genuinely impressed by it, overall. Not the full review, just the unboxing first impressions. There will be plenty of pictures on Instagram as well as on Kara's Instagram. Obviously, these were sent to her, not to me. But that's it. The Cubist, the Eye of Raw. Links in the description. You can check them out for yourself. If I can find discounts, I'll leave them down there as well. But that is it for me, you know? Maybe there'll be another batch of best techs coming soon. Who knows? But until then, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.